It's YouTube Wednesday! <laughs> here a uh, awesome prop knife that I got from Slaughterhouse Studios and uh, I intend on using it in uh, for an upcoming character uh, but I don't like just having a knife that you have to carry around all the time uh, so I'm gonna make a sheath for it one of the best places to get already detailed already designed leather pieces to make something is from things that have already been made uh, I actually end up buying a lot of leather purses uh, from the Goodwill store. You know, Goodwill, thrift store, whatever. Uh, this purse has a uh, like a nice gator skin on it. It's got a couple other features. It's got like a braided leather handle, which is a, that's a nice detail. It doesn't have to be a handle. This can be trim that I glue on. Uh, I can use that for a lot of different stuff. It has a couple silver pieces, uh, which are nice. I could pull off. I could put them somewhere. Um, and I like this too. It's got a pocket here for a cell phone on the side that uh, I could, you know, take off. I could put that. That could be a belt pouch, you know, for a different character, for a different thing. But uh, there's a lot of different pieces to this that I can cut out. So the first step is going to be disassembling this to see how much leather I have to work with. And it's probably not real leather, but it doesn't matter. It looks cool. I'm going to take it apart in such a way where a bunch of big pieces of leather are left. Normally that means running a razor down the seam to pop stitches. Now of course be careful while you're doing this because you're holding a razor and uh, razors cut leather pretty well. People are made of leather, they just don't know it yet. So on this $3 purse, uh, I actually got a hunk of leather this big, you know, that's a chest sized or whatever, uh, that has pattern on it. Um, I'll probably take this down even further, but this is a good start for my sheath. And uh, I got those metal pieces, I got two of these handles, and inside here there's uh, three separate zippers. So I can use the zippers on masks, I could use the zippers on all kinds of stuff, but if I'm willing to break this down further, I may not be, uh, then there's a lot of useful things that I can get out of this uh, pre-made thing. But now that I have a big hunk of leather, I'm going to look at cleaning out the last of this lining, then I'll lay my knife on it and start making my sheath. has four little metal feet. I'm going to take those off because I don't need them. And in looking at it, it's kind of telling me how I need to design my sheath. So I'm going to listen. And what it's telling me is take these dumb little metal feet off. Now what's cool about these little metal feet are they're little metal studs. And they're just, they have a, a Y spread on the back. So I can put them in anything that I want metal studs on. I got four of those with this purse. They make great knuckles on a leather glove. That'd be cool. If I were to go to Tandy and buy, you know, a five or six pack of these, they'd probably cost, you know, five, six bucks. Um, and I've got them in this purse for free. All right, so that's my material. This is pretty much flat material now. Uh, this would make a cool spell book cover uh, from a leather purse. Uh, I even got pieces here to make a buckle to make it close and, you know, look neat. I could age it up, put it over a book. Uh, but I'm going to do a sheath out of it, so I think the best way to do it is I've got... I have these decorative corners here, decorative corners, and I think I could put the knife right there. And as the sheath comes around, I just think that would be a nice look for that sheath that kind of conformed to the knife a little bit, but it had this up top. So 
I'm going to cut this and glue it together so that I have a double layer of this leather here and then I can do two sides for the sheath. I'm just putting this together with hot glue. It's for a costume. Is it going to last forever? No. Uh, will it last a haunt season? Absolutely. Could I sew it? I sure could. Uh, I'm just not going to take the effort right now. Uh, it's for a costume. It's going to look cool. So that's what matters. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. This is how this side looks. It's got the decorative piece on the corner. I want the spine of the blade to be right along this line. I'm going to go ahead and just trace the blade right now exactly as it is. I know that this line here is the back edge of the blade. I'm going to go about a half inch out because that's how much room I need for the thickness of the knife. I think that having a sheath for a knife gives it a lot more of an air of authenticity than having to just carry it around. I also think there's an element of escalation when you're able to produce a knife. You know, I don't have a weapon and the customer sees that and then I draw a weapon on the customer. That kicks it up a notch. You can get someone who wasn't intimidated by you before to become intimidated by you. I'm going to go ahead and cut out this piece here. Now, to use really thin leather material, they have a foam backing on this leather. Uh, that's fine, doesn't matter. See, that kind of makes it almost like a book here. But uh, I'll glue all this down so it's all one piece when I'm done. So that's part half of my sheath. The other piece is going to be here. So I'm matching it. And once I get these laid out right, I'm just going to trace it. I want to put my markings on the inside so I don't mess up my piece. Here we go. Check that one. Yep, that lines up very nicely. Great. As does this one. I'm going to go ahead and take my hot glue gun. I'm going to glue these two parts together. And you'll see how I'm gluing them together in just a second. Not how with hot glue, of course, but how is in layout. There we go. That way, these two are glued on the spine and they overlap right along the spine of this blade. Alright, but that looks like one piece over here on this side. And that's what you want. Now this is going to be right here and this is now going to be a sheath for that knife. Hot glue holds the vinyl really well so I don't have to worry too much about it. I am going to glue back this foam because this flap kind of gets on my nerves. A little bit of glue in there. I certainly could take that foam out I just think that's going to be a little more trouble than it's worth. Uh, you could of course wear gloves when you do this, that way it wouldn't burn your fingers so much. Uh, my fingers are kind of used to it. And your glue gun might not be as hot as mine. I have a monster of a glue gun, no doubt. Double checking my fit. to Make sure that I have room in here. And I do. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this edge down all the way. I'm going to stay on the edge. It'll spread in a little bit. And while this is setting there, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with some cold water. Help heat set that hot glue. I can shift it a little bit. But that did cool it down nicely. I'm going to put my knife in just to check. I make sure that that works well all through here. Perfect. I now pretty much have the look of a knife sheath. 
Uh, I've got some touch-up to do. It looks kind of ugly right here, and it looks a little bit ugly here for this flap. But I'm just going to glue this down real quick, and that'll help. And then uh, I'll address some of my other issues. These great braided straps, I'm going to use them to make the loops to hang this off of my belt. make a nice you know three inch loop I like thick character belts most of the time I'm just gonna cut this off I'm gonna glue this to back here I'm gonna glue this back here leaving myself at least three inches here for a belt to go through I'm gonna give it a hand crimp so it kind of holds and then I'll take the other half and do the same I can glue these onto the ugliest side of the sheath. That's the side I want to be the back. So I'm going to glue them onto this side. I think this is a little bit uglier. I don't like this seam, remember? So if I put make this the back, no one will ever see that seam. They'll be looking at this side. That's against my body right there. I now have straps onto my knife sheath. Push that down. Now, that glue alone is not enough to hold. This is a really good glue gun. It's really good glue, but uh, I don't trust it to hold the weight of that knife through a draw. So I'm going to use the mechanical trick in order to get me more strength. And that mechanical trick is I'm going to use one of this piece off the purse here, the silver piece, and I'm going to do a wrap around it that will help hold those in place. And I will hot glue that on also. So while that glue is curing, I will prep this. This will be my front piece. I'm going to cut this nice and even. I think that is going to look nice laid out on that sheet. Right over top of those straps in the back. Just enough to turn that corner and then I'll glue the rest down. I'm going to go ahead and measure this out while that glue is curing or drying. Cut it right there. And now I fold this piece over. So I have a nice thick edge, really, where this sucker comes together. I have this piece that I just put on is helping to hold on these two in the back. And that's a lot of uh, mechanical strength that I am using to my advantage. Test my fit right there. This guy can now be on my side, I can draw it, have it come this way. So here's my sheath, basically. Um, I still, remember I don't like this edge, I don't like how this looks. So I'm going to take this piece of braided strap, and you guys aren't going to find the exact same purse that I found, but what I'm just trying to show you is that some of my favorite things to buy at the thrift store, I'm not buying a purse because I want a purse. I'm buying a purse because I want the leather. I'm buying a uh, a leather, you know, suit holder or, or luggage for the leather on it. It's got a cool texture, you know. That's that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. This edge here, I'm going to hide by putting this other piece of braided strap on as decorative trim. And now, once I do this, this is going to have a look that I like all along that edge. I left it a little bit long. I'll, I did my final trim once it was on so I knew it would fit. I'm going to go ahead and glue down this seam so I can just kind of fill this in. Uh, do I have enough to cover this whole thing? 
Looks like I do. So all these edges where they come together, I'm going to run a strip right down here. That'll look nice. And it'll help fill in all these seams with glue so that it all holds together really well. This edge is, you know, several pieces thick. Even though this is a really thin leather, uh, most of your garment leather is really thin. And they have to use fillers and stuff in it. So that's just what happened here, is that they've got that foam in there that I told you about. And I'm not worried about spider webs right now. Hot glue doesn't stick to uh, the finished surface of leather very well. So I'm not worried about that in the least. I can pull that off later. But I do want to get it down into that other piece. That's what I want. So push that in here. I'm holding it so I can just get that finished edge. I want to push those together. I want to pinch it. Um, hot glue, it dries pretty fast, but you got to keep working it. Uh, I, you can't abandon your hot glue or else it's going to come kind of undone. This is a really nice hot glue from a really nice hot glue gun. And even it, you know, it needs a little bit of love to make sure that it works. You've got to keep your eye on it. I can still distress this uh, to make it fit a little more character-wise. With that little bit of time that I spent, look at that leather sheath that I have now for my nice knife from Slaughterhouse Studios. Okay, uh, nothing really ever comes finished. That's a good looking prop knife, but when I pull it on someone, that's going to make it look more dangerous. So I finished this prop by making the sheath for it. That's going to hang on my belt just like that. And now I can pull my Slaughterhouse Studios knife on a customer to give them some lip. Go make stuff!